Hey, uh, huh. being a, a parent is, is hard. Uh, even when you have the support of a partner uh, in raising your child, it's still really hard. Uh, but this weekend, um, I, I am fending for myself. My, my, my wife is away at conference and uh, I have a sick child. And you single parents, um, bless you. You folks are amazing. It is so hard. Um, I have a sick child who's asleep. In, uh, he's asleep in the next room over. Uh, he's been sick uh, all morning and it's rough. And I'm just going to do a quick update to let you folks know that I haven't forgotten about you and I want to let you know what we've been working on in Delver. But today is going to be short because my priorities are uh, taking care of my son and just making sure everything is all right with him. But I hope everybody's doing all right. Hey, uh, I am Joshua. This is the weekly Delver development stream. I've been doing these since July of 2016. So I've been doing them over, over a year now, trying to get this darn project finished up. Um, if you want to more, know more about Delver, uh, you can find the website behind my head here at delvergame.com. Uh, Delver is a procedural dungeon crawler. Um, it also has first-person shooter, roguelike, and RPG elements. Uh, a little bit of this, a little bit of that, kind of uh, combining the things that we like. Uh, so I like to pitch it uh, that if Daggerfall and Doom had a baby, it'd be something like that. Um, uh, you can buy us on early access on Steam for $7.99. We will be going up to $9.99 when we release the full version, hopefully soon. I keep saying hopefully soon. And uh, um, yeah, I'm just trying to push through. Um, I am down to just, a f just right now, the only thing I have left on my plate is just making unique items, which has been cool. I'm just trying to push through that. Um, you also buy us on Humble. That's why I scrolled down here. Uh, you'll see the Steam key. Steam is most up-to-date build. When we release the full 1.0 version, we will update all of our platforms to answer that question up ahead of time. Um, also, the, the question I also get asked a lot is, too, is, is this coming to Switch? Ha <laughs> ha. Uh, that depends on how well it sells. If it, if, it, if it sells well enough for us to be able to afford the porting process, probably by a third-party studio, maybe. Uh, we'll see. Um, but yeah, this is my baby. Uh, this is a two-person project. I am one half of the people working on it. The half is a, a developer named Cutigan. Uh, I primarily am responsible for the art. Uh, 2D, 3D modeling, level design. I also do some programming. We like we're a small studio making a thing in our in our free time, so we wear a lot of hats. Um, yeah, so let's go ahead and just kind of do. I'm just probably just gonna do a, a Git log, and then um, and see where we are from there. Uh, okay, so let me just do a real quick. Let's do. Um, Actually, let me do a clear, then let's do this and let's talk about what's going on. So um, this week's been kind of a quiet week. Um, again, me just adding unique stuff. Um, I have some some uh, unstaged local changes of unique stuff I've been working on, but nothing really in a final state to show off today. So sorry, sorry about that. Um, but yeah, but so Chad has been working on adding, um, uh, he's been working on giving the, the, um, the after you grab the orb, uh, I guess the post game, some love. So now uh, when you grab the orb, uh, wherever you killed uh, monsters, the corpses uh, potentially can revive. So Chad is working hard on um, um, revamping that part of the game. And I might try to play just a little bit of that uh, if I have time. Um, tweaking unique sprites, more, uh, more tweaks to the tutorial level. Again, right now we're just doing some final little changes. Hopefully, um, hopefully this is, is good. Chad moved the minimap to the upper right instead of upper left. Corpses can't revive too close to the player. That's probably good. The effects for the escape. So yeah, so he's taking, he's taking advantage of these VFX uh, dust sprites I made. Uh, tweaking escape VFX. Meow, meow. Meow, meow. That's a good, that is a good commit. Meow, meow. Cool. Uh, I love it when Chad puts these uh, um, obscure commits in because he knows I read them uh, on the, uh, uh, the stream. But cool. So let's uh, fire up uh, IntelliJ and let's play through a little bit of Delver before I sign, sign off here. Uh, Tengu Knight 42 says, you sound frustrated. Uh, I'm not. Maybe like my kiddo is sick and I can't really do anything for him. And it's, it's frustrating. Um, like he got sick this morning, like he threw up and I took his temp. His temp is fine. He immediately bounced back and he seemed fine and he played. And then... Uh, we went, you know, went grocery shopping. We came back from grocery shopping and he threw up again all over me, all over him. Um, so I'm not quite sure what's going on. I took his temp again. His temperature's fine. He's acting, now he's acting lethargic and he was sleepy. So I, I held him, put him to sleep and uh, he's sleeping it out. Um, but yeah, that's, that's kind of where I'm at with that. Let's uh, play some Delver. But yeah, no, like 
like as a parent when your child is 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 ill or hurt like like there's a like it's it's hard to describe like how much of a drive i have to make him feel better okay so i think chad said to to start the end game all we have to do is spawn an orb and that kicks off the end game so let's go down a level and let's uh let's let's murder some fools actually they're just sleeping they're not they're not actually dead they're just asleep um cool So I guess the, the whole point of this is to leave some corpses in our path so we can see the, this whole revival mechanic and see how, how it feels. I'm pretty excited for it. I think it could be cool. I'm just going to kind of play through Delver a little bit, try to make sure again, just try to leave a little, um, just a little, little, little body count just so I can see how it works. Um, because to be honest with you, I haven't played with the uh, uh, the post-game stuff very much yet. Here we are, the old fancy tavern. Yep, not what I was wanting. Oh well, let's get out of here. Um, yeah, Dakota, I started around the same time today um, because... So I was going to delay today. Um, but I got a text message saying that the swim class for my son, uh, was canceled. And then, um, my son was sick all day or all morning today. So it's been a rough day. Um, but I thought I'd just do a real quick, uh, update. It looks like we need to change the draw distance on here. We're seeing some of that skybox pop in. So maybe we need to push the, uh, did I bind that to a key? Um, I forget. I might have. I might have. I might have bound it to a key. I have to look at the debug info. Um, uh, mostly, we've been tweaking small tweaks. Uh, for me, uh, working on unique items, and for Chad, he's been working on the tutorial, and he's been working on the end game uh, stuff. And that's about it. Not a very, not a very long, uh, kind of a slow week. I still, I still need to get the art done for this. Um, I might just do uh, just maybe bits of equipment associated with that stat and not necessarily do like figures posing. That might be okay. Um, I'm not sure. Yeah, this whole mini map moved to the upper right. It's kind of breaking my brain. I always look to the upper left to see my map. So interesting tweak. Uh, I'm curious what, what design, um, this, uh, what, what, uh, what decision drove Chad to make that change. I, mean, I would assume it would be some sort of accessibility issue, but I'm not entirely for certain. Um, uh, so Rick Dreesen says, Hot damn, this looks way good all of a sudden. Uh, thank you, that's very kind of you to say. Yeah, I am the, the art guy, so it is my job to make it look uh, as good as I can. So I appreciate the kind words. Yeah, we are we're working hard to get this thing wrapped up and beautiful and playable. Uh, and just done. Um, like it, it's been a passion project for several years, and uh, you know Delver deserves uh, a release. All right, let's go down. Yeah, so each card each card will have uh, art that corresponds to whatever is on the, the the skill thing there. So I was thinking for like strength, maybe like a gauntlet and a hammer, and maybe for agility, like. Uh, an arrow and some boots or something. I don't know. I'm just trying to think of like um, like something that'd be easy for me to quick and easy for me to render that still is representative of um, oh arrow bomb uh, representative of this stat um, but without putting like like figures like doing stuff on there. Um, cool. Let me grab that bomb. Let me do something with that. Let me let me ruin somebody's day. Or I can use it to open up a door. Or I could get myself shot in the back with arrow. But the, the plus side with the arrow bombs is you have a bunch of arrows uh, after you're done doing what you're doing. Nice. 
Um, uh, Fever Dream Nightmare says, Hey, Joshua, huge fan of your work. Who wrote the notes found in the dungeon? I find the small bits of lore to be very intriguing. Uh, so all the, the notes have been written by Chad. Um, I have not done much of the lore, uh, slash any. Um, so yeah, actually this arrow may have flown through that door. Cool. Um, yeah, so all the all the lore is Chad's work. Don't run from me. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. I don't know what this does, but I'm going to put it on anyways. Because that's how I just throw in caution to the wind. Um. Okay. Well, I guess uh, I don't want to play too much longer because I have a sick child to go take care of. And I have a broken dagger to get rid of. Okay. There's usually there's usually some goodies around here. Let me see if I can find anything. Arrows. I already have plenty of arrows. Uh, there should be something. Uh, doom jump. Yes! Nice. There we go. Okay, so if I spawn in an orb, that should kick off the the end game. Whoa. Whoa, what was that? Interesting. I don't think I'm taking damage, am I? Um, if Chad, if there's, if there's supposed to be like dust particles appearing around me, they're they're not. Um, Jay. There was a corpse there, maybe. I can I not hit her? This is all very intriguing. Um, if I do area of attack stuff. It looks like I did not hurt her. And I got a red slime. Beautiful. So it looks like... Um, that corpse didn't spawn anything. Did I come through here? Weird. See, like, yeah. Do they become do they become invulnerable once they come back? I'm really curious about that. So we, I think there's some communication stuff we need to be uh, working on here because I'm not sure what's going on. Except for I'm about to die. Yeah, because if we resurrect stuff and they're supposed to be like uh, ghostly or ethereal or something, we need to definitely communicate why we can't kill them. Uh, but that's probably to be to be done, to be worked on. Yeah, okay, cool. Interesting. Uh, hey, Maker Images. Yeah, are you catching just the tail end of my stream here? All right, I think that's good enough for today. Uh, sorry again, folks. I have a, a sick child and my wife is away at conference. Uh, so it's me uh, that, that the little guy has. But yeah, real quick, I'll just go over the... Yeah, it's kind of a, a small list of changes this week. So wrapping up surprises, adding a unique weapon for me. Um, Chad is tweaking on this corpse revival monster mechanic stuff. More unique unique sprites for me. I have more unique sprites still that are in my local changes on my other machine that I've not committed yet. Um, tutorial level tweaks. Um, pushing the minimap to the upper right instead of the upper left. Um, corpses can't revive too close to player, which is good. VFX for escape. This VFX didn't seem to be working, Chad, so we need to, we need to take, a, take a look at that. Um, so I was hoping there'd be explosions and stuff all over the place, but right now it just seems like the, the, the screen everyone saw just kind of turns purple. Uh, we need to revisit that and meow, meow. Okay. Um, hey, everybody. Uh, this has been my stream. It is abbreviated because my child is sick and I need to go uh, be be, a, be an attentive dad. Um, but yeah, so I am Joshua. S Joshua Skelly uh, is how you can find me in most places. So here at Twitch, at Twitter, I'm Joshua Skelly. If you want to follow me and see what I'm up to, uh, here I am uh, on Twitch. I am a an affiliate, um, which means you can subscribe to me. I have nine wonderful subscribers. Um, and let me thank them real quick. Uh, in no particular order, they are Code Drake, Glass Casket, TV, Dr. Kegel, Smith, A Literal Train, Neil Slichter, New Obj, Young Beefy, Nick's Rod, and Fifth Elephant. I think that was 10. Um, my list might be out of sync. But thank you so much for supporting me. I'm sorry today is short. Um, but yeah, um, I'll be back. Um, yeah, 
Yeah, my streaming streaming has been taking a little bit of a break uh, break this this past week and this actually this coming week too. Uh, I've been looking uh, for contract work around town, and uh, that has, has basically meant that I am not in my home office. I am out and about doing things. So um, it looks like I won't be doing my weekday streams until maybe Thursday, because um, you know Monday through Wednesday I'm I am booked. Uh, so sorry about that. Um, uh, I think that's a, that's about it. There's a community Discord. I can hit the Discord. Uh, Discord. There we go. Uh, we talk about game dev stuff. Talk about my projects there. People show off their stuff, which is really rad. Um, I think I think that's about it. Um, yeah, uh, folks, have a good rest of your your week. I'll see you on Thursday. Take care. Uh, hopefully, everything's all right.